Good Monday morning to you. I've been away uh, from you and not being able to do the devotions for the last several weeks. Uh, I've experienced a, a setback physically where I had to have surgery, a couple of surgeries, and uh, I'm doing really well. However, I've learned some things while I've been away, and that is from Isaiah 40, 31. Listen to this. It says, but those, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's Isaiah 40, 31. It's one of my favorite verses in all the Old Testament. From Isaiah, the prophet, he tells us that we must learn to wait upon the Lord, his time. Waiting is often seen as a passive state, a, a time when you cannot do too much activity. I have found out that the verses in the New Testament, Old Testament, is full of anticipation for those that wait upon the Lord. Those that wait, Jesus sent his disciples. He said, I want you to go back to Jerusalem and pray together and be together and wait upon the coming of the Holy Spirit. I want you to wait and pray together. He told the disciples often to go ahead of him across the lake of Gennesaret, the Sea of Galilee. Go and find a place and wait for him. He had come to them. I want you all to be aware of the fact that in the last several weeks, I've had to wait upon the Lord. And waiting upon the Lord has taught me great strength and great due diligence. Also, it comes to the reality in all of us that there'll be times in our lives and our humanity where we will not be able to be active, that we cannot produce, that we cannot do a sum total of what we're able to create. See, what we do usually is a sum total of our self-worth. We put in 40 hours last week, okay? You put in 40 hours. What does that say? It says that you gave your time and your attention to your work spot, to your boss, to your company, to the school system, wherever you were employed, you gave your homage to that. But if you cannot be there and cannot be producing something, what does that say? It renders us almost as useless that we're not active, that we're not producing, that we're not creating something. Well, you know what? I've discovered that in Isaiah 40, 31, it says, we must learn to wait upon the Lord. Because in so doing, we renew our strength. When we put in time, when we create, when we do things full of activity, we're able to have something in our hands that we've created, that we've worked for, something that is demonstrative of our energy. But when we wait and do nothing, what do we have? It says, for they shall renew their strength. And it is at that point when their strength is renewed, they shall mount up like the wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I've discovered that in the quiet times in the last several weeks, I've learned to be strong spiritually, to pray for my church family, to pray for those who are on our prayer list, to pray for those who are in need. Whereas I could not be visiting them in person, I could pray for them. And in praying for them, I'm waiting upon the Lord, placing them in the, in the hands and in the presence and the love of God through the Holy Spirit. Did you know the Bible says that even those individuals who are going through very difficult times and cannot find the energy to even pray for themselves, that's when the Holy Spirit calls upon other people to pray for them. When we can't pray for ourselves, when our need is so great, when our depression overcomes us, when our energy is depleted, that's when God comes to us. He sends his people. He sends his spirit. He sends his love. Pray with me. Father, we began this day, this week with you. Isaiah 40, 31. May we learn in this day to wait upon you, not to rush ahead of you, but to walk with you and to listen to you and to follow your guidance. Thank you for the day that we have. 
for the strength that we have in you. For we ask this in your name and in your love. Amen. Wait upon the Lord today. Let him renew you, your strength, your vision, your mission, your purpose. And you'll find out the next day by doing this, you will create five times more than something you could have done in your own strength. God bless you. I'll see you on Tuesday.